Hello, this is Adam Benson. I'm here to bring you a tutorial on cleaning up boogang shapes and the transitions of folds and slides. So, to clean up shapes, uh, one of the things that I like to teach is to stop in shapes and to start this way. So right now I have an eight shape that's facing like side by side. If I turn it just a quarter rotation, it'll be up and down. Quarter rotation, side by side, quarter rotation, up and down. You get the point. Uh, this also works for any shape that you're moving, like if you're moving this whole shape, you can move it to here, move it to here. And then as you get more experience with your bougang or comfortable finger spinning, you can go smoothly through those points. But use a mirror or your shadow, like see how I stopped here and this one's not quite up and down? I want to correct that so that it hits defined points. It maintains a much better illusion if you hit really defined points. So that, that time I was doing it like on a cross axis, you can also do it on like an X axis. Uh, let's do it this way, it'll be easier to see. So now I'm on facing the other diagonal, this diagonal, oops, come back other diagonal, but try to hit defined points. This works with any prop, uh, any two static props, fans, double staffs, staffs, torches, clubs, hoops, all that kind of stuff it works for. So this works for any spinning pattern that you go through. Try to slow down and or stop in defined positions. Like when you're tracing up through the middle of your body, stop at fully traced positions. And then it'll naturally, you'll just naturally go to those points if you train it that way. So on to folds and slides, the transition move. They're very simple to understand. If you have them side by side like this, you can either fold or slide. There's a lot of transitions, but this is the transition I'm teaching right now is folds and slides. So I can slide it across to maintain the same timing and direction to either side. Now to my right side, center, left side. And this will put you into the mode where you can finger spin. Also, you can do that same slide this way. Slide, and you'll maintain your same timing and direction. Slide, and you can also do it up. Can't really see the top of it because of the camera, but it's there. And the other one that will change the timing and direction is called a fold. You're gonna fold across the center line of your body, either left or right or up or down. There's one, there's many different transitions that you can try. I really recommend going through all the points of that one because it'll unlock more creative places that you could finger spin and spin out of. Enjoy, thanks for watching.